Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name's Vin Pierre. For today's episode, I'm going to be covering a Lumreek from McNair's. Now, these guys sent me this over for review, so it's really nice to be able to check this out again because I actually covered their range. I mean, it must have been over three years ago now. Uh, they sent me some uh, three little samples back then. Back then, it was uh, it was a, a kind of peated. They they called it just standard peated, no age statement, whatever. And then they had a 12 year old and a 21 year old. Uh, now they've gone through a bit of a rebrand, all for the better, I might add as well. Um, I didn't mind the previous one, but this looks much better, much much cleaner, if, if uh, that's the thing to say. Um, I like, especially I like this little additional ticket-looking thing on the side here, which is pretty cool. Um, now what they've done is they've taken that range, they've changed it around a little. The 12 and the um, 21 still exist, but what used to be the entry level, just you know, no age statement, petered, that's now become a 10-year-old cask strength so that's now jumped the 12 so it's actually a little bit more expensive so this runs in at about 60 quid just shy of 60 quid 58 59 uh, and you can get the 12 year old which it runs um, a, a lower abv but that uh, that runs for about sort of 45 quid um, of course the 21 year old that's up to like 100 odd quid 120 quid something like that so yeah there's there's a, a big stark difference between them um, obviously i i can't try the the difference between those three today because I've only got the one but if you are interested you can go and check out my old video but I don't think it's going to be very indicative of today's drinking anyway then so today then we've got the car strength 10 year old as I mentioned earlier that runs at about 60 quid this one here is the batch number two running at 55.8 percent the first batch was 55.4 percent so you know we've got a slight increase but um yeah it's, it's essentially the same thing just batch release it's all natural color, uh, car strength, as I said. So when it when it becomes like that, obviously ABV is a factor. You can't call it car strength if you're watering it down to meet kind of batch requirements or whatever. So may as well just call it a new batch. Uh, yeah, natural colored, non-chill filtered, all these things that we absolutely love. Now, what this is actually then, so obviously we've got the brand name McNair's, we've got Lum Reek, but this is obviously a product of uh, Glenelaki Distillers. It's a blend of, um, I guess, their single malt. It's they say Speyside and Isla, so it's probably going to be their stuff mixed with an unknown distillery from Isla. Uh, wouldn't even like to guess on that, but you know, there's not that many of them, so you could stick a pin in it and, and be somewhere close, I should imagine. But um, yeah, they, there's no information on that, so no point really guessing. The uh, it's all aged at Glenelaki, so they've uh, got three different cast types. They've got X Sherry. They've got uh, X wine barriques and they've got brand new virgin oak casks. And then obviously they're marrying those together at the end and creating this gorgeous little thing. So best we get into the glass and see what we've actually got. For once, we can talk about colour because it's all over this, you know, like natural colour. It's all, all down here. We like that sort of thing. Um, it does come with a, a beautiful tin as well. I should bring that out. I don't often talk about tins on the channel because it's not really my bag. No nonsense and all that. But, you know, the tin is nice. If you're into that sort of thing... This will be going straight in the recycling, but there's a bunch of words on there that um, you know you can read if you so wish. But <laughs> let's get into it. Right, it's a nice deep colour. Um, you know they call it rich mahogany, and I'm inclined to agree. A kind of deep, deep, deep copper. It's nice. Let's get onto the nose. <sighs> this has got a wonderful nose. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, all we know is that it's like Spanish sherry, so we don't know exactly what kind of sherry. But for me, it's burning logs, that kind of warming sensation you get about being next to a kind of open fire. I get a lot of walnut on this and some dried fruits that, you know, typical sherry notes that, you know, talking like raisins and sultanas, that sort of thing. It's lovely though. You know, if you're, if you are into sherry mixed with peat, then you're going to be well in with this. Let's try on the palette. Again, I mean, I'll do the tasting notes first, but it's for me, it's like sweet fruits, dates, and figs. There's some uh, chocolate orange. I don't know how worldwide that is, but over here in the UK, we get a this thing called a Terry's chocolate orange, which um, heaps of that coming through, and a whole waft of. I've categorised it as barbecue smokes. You know, I do a lot of grilling in my back garden, so. On the on the nose, it was kind of like that burn that that burning wood, whereas 
on the palette it's morphed into more of a you know like open fire coals burning if that makes any sense the finish is long sweet and smoky all things that we like now I've discovered that my, you know, I, I try to do kind of tasting notes to, that anybody would be able to enjoy, but obviously I can be more enthusiastic about some whiskies and less enthusiastic about some whiskies as a personal level, even if I'll try to review them as, you know, objectively or, or whatever as possible. So for me, actually, this is ideal because I love that kind of sweet and that smoke mixed together. That's something that I personally love. And the fact that this is actually great quality, quality whiskey as well only helps that mm. for me I mean I love the fact that it's um, high ABV it doesn't it doesn't kick you in the face like some really really high ones obviously 55 is still quite high for less seasoned drinkers let's say but for me this is just like tick 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 all the way down and for that 60 quid is an absolute steal you know um, it, you know, some might sniff at a 10 year old age statement for that but if we look at the facts and figures of that where we are in today's climate age statements are becoming increasingly difficult to get for a, a kind of a good price but factor in all of the other stuff as well you know it's been handcrafted if you want to use handcrafted as a thing uh, it's you know it's cask strength so the abv is right up there you know we're not talking about some 40 percent stuff going on so I think it's great value for that, great value. Um, it's probably a brand that kind of sits underneath the radar a little bit because people aren't generally sure who it is, who's making it or whatever. But there you go. That's what I'm here for to tell you today. This is this is made by Billy Walker himself of Glenelaki. So it's you know that it's going to be good. And I'm having my third sip on screen, so that tells you all you need to know. Mm. Absolute beaut. Again, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of put a pin in the end of it and say that if you like your peat, if you like your sweet, if you like the sherry influence on that, then this is going to be an absolute winner for you. Um, hopefully I'll get to try the other two in the range at some point, but um, I'm happy with this one right now. I have to say I'm happy with this one. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Have you tried the old Lumreeks? Are they now on your radar? Let's have a little chat below, but um, for me, I'm going to enjoy this one. I imagine this is going to be uh, I'm going to be tapping into this one quite a lot because it's uh, it's 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 right up my street. I'll say cheers to you, and I'll catch you again on more videos coming soon.